March 15, 2021. Marked the beginning of several food poisoning cases that were reported in Slagany, especially in the small towns surrounding Brusco. This strange and sudden increase in people suffering from food poisoning was put under investigation by the Ministry of Health. In the inquiry, the cases increased rapidly, and within two months, the whole of Slagany was suffering. It didn't take long until several of these cases ended up with the death of the patient. After weeks of investigation and with the help of Onyx Corporation, it was determined that bacteria in the water caused all these cases. The bacteria, which was named the S1776 bacteria, was a Vibrio cholerae bacteria that had mutated and became highly contagious. The whole country entered a lockdown, and after several months, in August of that same year, an experimental antibiotic was released to the public with highly positive results. The investigations led the scientists to the canal that runs between Vlasovska and Slagany. It was determined that the bacteria mutation was caused by industrial waste being dumped into the canal. Bunn didn't hesitate, saw this as an attack, and silently prepared his forces to strike back at Vlasovska. On January 12, 2022, Slagany sent the 56th Infantry Division to cross the militarized border with Vlasovska. On January 13, the 10th Sea Marines Battalion was dropped in Kharkiv via helicopter, and within 24 hours, the whole city was under control. February 5, 2022. Slagany invaded Vlasovska using an old strategy called the Blitzkrieg. The advance of the troops was halted outside all the major cities, and Kharkiv was surrounded by the 128th Vlasovskan army. Within the city, the army started to give benefits to Vlasovskan citizens who signed up as enforcers, causing distrust between citizens. On the 14th of that same month, ex-president Alexei Petrovich, who was living in Kharkiv at the time, organized the civilians to fight off the slag occupants and eliminate the traitors. The remnants of the Vlasovskan Defense Force and the Home Guard were contacted by him to reunite and guide the ex-president to their headquarters. This meeting was intercepted by the Slagin intelligence. And they sent 50 Vlasovskan enforcers to kill Petrovich, along with 20 Slagin soldiers. The mission failed as Petrovich was extracted alive and all 70 soldiers and enforcers were killed. March 1, 2022. Petrovich organized several attacks on Slagin outposts, stole equipment, and attacked convoys. The Slagin command couldn't let him continue as anything, so they decided to send two of their best agents to kill him off. Captain Ulrich Schindler and Lieutenant Hergel Stump were both dropped in Kharkiv, which had become a dangerous place thanks to Petrovich's rebels. The mission was successful, as both agents assassinated Petrovich and another high-ranking officer. However, both were compromised and captured by the Legion Special Forces. After the death of Petrovich, the rebels were demoralized and disorganized. It took only five days to kill them all off and regain control of the whole city. Meanwhile, at the other end of the country, Slagini organized a huge amphibious assault through the canal that separates both countries and was successfully able to capture Yelston military base. March 11, 2022. The current president, Mikhail Popov, is arrested by the Legion forces, which were under the command of General Dmitry Malkovich, as the late saw him unfit to rule and incapable of kicking off the invaders. He sent to a secret prison near the Musicarian border and then executed by Legion soldiers. On March 12, Malkovich proclaims himself the new president and leader of Vlasovska. This confused the Vlasovskan population. Following this news, the Vlasovskan Home Guard abandoned their positions. The Vlasovskan army sat tight in their positions and stopped following orders from the high command. 
only the Legion Penal Battalion followed Malkovich. April 6, 2022 Malkovich and the Legion started a campaign to turn the tides of the war. Twenty Legion operators were sent into Slajani to cause chaos and confuse the enemy. Five battalions are prepared to cross the canal and invade Slajani. On April 10, the operations begin. And 17 of the 20 Legion operators manage to enter Slajani and kill several border guards and police officers. Soon after they contact a terrorist group operating in Slajani called the Syndicate. Together, they cause even more chaos within Bruskal. Striking several public places and killing many innocent people. At the same time the five battalions cross the river and find fierce resistance, after two hours of battle and heavy casualties for both sides, however over 3,000 Vlasovskan legionaries survive the landing and enter Slajani. April 20, 2022 Slajan Home Guard and Folks to our encounter attacked the advancing legionaries, but despite their effort they could only slow down their advance. In Bruskal Oscar Albrecht commander of the police, lead his police officers against the syndicate terrorist group and the legion commandos. The battle was horrid and many buildings were damaged or destroyed during the conflict but his efforts paid off. Confirming the death of all syndicate terrorists in Bruskal as well as several lieutenants like Farid Khan, Miguel Valverde, Serena Palmer and also legion CO Yuri Petrenko. April 21, 2022 Slajani doesn't waste time on celebrations, after defeating the terrorist a large group of police officers, watch agents and conscripts are sent to face off the advancing legionaries, they see LSH at noon and engage in a bloody fight that lasted 5 hours. It is past 9 pm and the last shot is heard with the last scream of pain. Silence covers the battlefield, the casualties are high but at last the mixed up defense force of Slajani comes out victorious. Later that night at 11 p.m. Malkovich is told, 5,000 convicts died on Slajan soil. He wants to hide this but it's too late, the news of this failed operation repeats on every functional radio on Vlasovska, the message says, Dear Vlasovskan brothers, don't die for your self-proclaimed leader, 5,000 of your brothers and sisters just died for one man. Is it really worth it? To lose everything just for the glory of one? Surrender dear brothers and sisters and let's unite once again. May 2, 2022 The skirmishes continue, Slajani gets back into Vlasovska pushing towards the capital Konetsk, the remaining army is defecting left and right. And the legionnaires are given no quarter. This war isn't about defending the motherland, but about surviving. Three days later on May 5th, Generals, Sebastian Kuznetsov, Yeager Semenov and Alexei Solovev gather to stage a coup and take Malkovich as a prisoner and give him to Slajani and end the war. May 10, 2022. Malkovich is at Konetsk giving a speech to the citizens to take up arms and help the army defend the city. People are scared and many faces show their unwillingness to fight for him. Two Legion companies are acting as security forces. Across the street, a sniper is ready to kill him when the light reflects on his scope, Malkovich notices it and hits the floor. And orders the legionnaires to open fire on that window. A hail of bullets kills the sniper, he didn't have a chance, however, Epsilon and Delta companies from the 107th Infantry Division storm the square and attack Malkovich and the legionaries.
The battle is cruel and many innocent civilians die in it. 3 p.m. sets in, all legionaries die, and Malkovich is arrested. June 15, 2022. Vlasovska surrendered to Slajerny by delivering Malkovich to them, negotiations took place, and there was not much to bargain but to unconditionally surrender. A spokesman gives a speech in Konetsk, right where many civilians were killed. He talks about how the two nations are unified and states that Vlasovska's name ceased to exist, in its place it'll be called Oslajerman from now on. Not many happy faces are seen, in fact not many faces are seen at all. The weeks go by when suddenly a radio transmission appears in every radio in Oslajerman. My father liberate Vlasovska from these tyrants and I'll do the same, I call all Vlasovskin to join me where the sun is silent. The radio transmission ends. The watch agency is on the case and tracks down where the transmission was made, no one is found and little to no clues are left.